What's up DC Nation? Welcome back to another video on DC Future States and today we're covering Suicide Squad number 2 written by Robbie Thompson and drawn by Javier Fernandez. Now in this issue we see the Justice Squad led by Connor Kent go up against the Suicide Squad from Earth 1 led by Peacemaker and Amanda Waller is in the middle of all this. She's trying to initiate Operation Home Base which we'll find out what that is when we go into the issue. But if you guys want to get caught up in the story thus far, I'll leave a link down in the description to get you caught up. But yeah, guys, if you're ready, let's dive into this issue. Connor Kent floats in the air, his eyes closed. Clouds surround him. He's in peace. But back then he wasn't. When Amanda Waller first kidnapped him, he was in a dark room. Chained to the wall, blood in his mouth, and he gritted his teeth, saying, uh, I'm not a criminal, and you can't keep me caged forever. Waller walked in. She creaked the door open just a little bit, saying, You are a clone. Your very existence is a crime. But I'm not here to condemn you, Connor. This isn't a prison. It's an opportunity. If you're smart, and I know half of you is, you'll know what to do with that opportunity when the time is right. Now, Connor Kent, in the air, he opens his eyes. He gets a call from the Justice Squad's member who's impersonating Wonder Woman. It's Hypnotic Woman. Now, Connor tells the Justice Squad to keep going with the operation. They're trying to initiate Operation Home Base. That's their mission that Amanda Waller gave them. But Amanda Waller's real goal is to lock away Earth-3 forever. So basically, no one from other worlds can come in. Amanda Waller can be safe from the Suicide Squad and all of her different enemies. Now, Connor flies down to the base. He confronts the fisherman. The fisherman tells him that the whole operation is going well. And Connor says if this goes well, then his people will be safe. But the fisherman's people will still have to be in the water. They can't come to the surface. The only exception is the fisherman because he's on the Justice Squad. But that's when the fisherman's brain starts to get electrocuted. The brain bomb almost goes off. And he falls to the ground agony. A hologram version of Waller shows up. She says, You're not exceptional, fisherman. You're a means to an end that is almost in my grasp. Now she begins to walk away. She says, Now if you'll excuse me, I have company at my place. Connor looks at this and is kind of confused. Now we see outside of Waller's apartments, the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker leading them. Now the other members is a Parademon, Evil Star, and Cheetah. And there's actually two others, Lord Zod and Mirror Master. Now Peacemaker puts his goggles on and looks far and sees that Amanda Waller is inside the apartments. Now he asks the Parademon if it's time to go in. The Parademon thinks it is time. The status is good if they want to take Waller and bring her back to Earth-1. Now, Peacemaker says, Alright, time to go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! So what we see from here is that Aquaman, or the Fisherman back at the base, is ambushed by Mirror Master and Lord Zod. Now, Peacemaker, Cheetah, and Evil Star, they go into the apartments of Waller. But what they are confronted by is Clayface, who's impersonating Martian Manhunter. Clayface attacks, and we see back at the base, the evil Flash and the Fisherman go to attack Mirror Master and Lord Zod. Now, Peacemaker at the apartment says, Task Force X, cut me a path. Now, he starts to run as Evil Star, the Parademon, and Cheetah deal with the Clayface. Now, Peacemaker runs toward the door that he knows that Amanda Waller is behind. He says, I know you're in there, Waller, and you know it's time to come home. Now, Waller on the other side says, It's good to see you, Christopher. She holds a cup of coffee. Now, we see back at the base, Mirror Master and the Evil Flash fight off, and Mirror Master just starts to wreck her. He's gone against the Flash. He thinks the speedster is not that good. She doesn't know how to use her powers as good as Flash, Kid Flash, Wally West, um, different characters, different speedsters, Godspeed. Mirror Master has gone against many different speedsters who are better than this one. Now, this evil Flash tries to call help from Aquaman, or the Fisherman, but we see that Lord Zod is removing the soul from the Fisherman. He's wrecking him as well. So, so far, the Suicide Squad from Earth-1 are doing pretty good. 
but the tables are about to turn. We see back in the apartments. Evil Star falls to the ground. He's in agony. He can't breathe. Clayface stands above him. The reason that Evil Star is on the ground in agony is because the Suicide Squad from Earth 1, by them going to Earth 3, it's messing with their vitals. The longer they stay on Earth 3, the sooner they'll die. And we see Evil Star is about to fall to the ground dead. And Amanda Waller tells Peacemaker this. She's like, hey, you gotta deal with that? Like, he's about to die, and this is your fault. And Peacemaker responds, Evil Star knew the risk, and he's not done serving the team. See? We see Peacemaker pull up Amanda Waller and hit the button that initiates the brain bomb in Evil Star. And we hear a BOOM! Evil Star blows up and actually shoots uh, Clayface back. Now Peacemaker looks up and says, You brought me to the Suicide Squad, Waller. Promised me I'd finally have peace. But back home, back home is a mess, thanks to you. And only you can fix it. Earth One needs you. Flag is asking Waller, asking for help. So am I. Peacemaker goes to Amanda Waller, but that's revealed that this isn't actually Amanda Waller. It's Clayface too. Clayface set up this entire situation. The real Amanda Waller sent him there to pretty much impersonate everything. To impersonate Martian Manhunter, impersonate this Waller that Peacemaker thinks he's about to take back to Earth-1. Now, Peacemaker is shocked by this. He asks Clayface why he joined Waller, and Clayface says, she said she'd keep my family safe. Now we see back at the Justice Squad's base that Amanda Waller, the real one, is telling the Justice Squad and Connor Kent to keep going. They need to get different lower engines online. If they can do that, Operation Home Base will be complete. And then Earth 3 will be locked away. Now we see back at the apartments of Amanda Waller, the fake Amanda Waller, Clayface tells Peacemaker, I am gonna keep my ward. Would your Waller keep hers? And Peacemaker says, Waller trained me, which means I know two things to be true. One, she should never be trusted. And two, she will use her squad the same way I use mine. Now we see Clayface holding the Parademon. And we see Cheetah. And we see the Parademon, he starts to leave. And then we hear a loud BOOM! Because the entire apartment pretty much explodes. What happened was Amanda Waller put a bomb throughout Clayface's cells, and that exploded. So this whole apartment is gone, and we see Connor Kent above Lord Zod at the one base. He says, Waller, what'd you do? And Amanda Waller says, Why well, always do, Kent, what need be done? So Waller literally just killed Clayface, even though he was so loyal to her. Now we see Lord Zod, he punches Connor Kent in the face, saying, They're dead, aren't they? And for what? Now we see Hypnotic Woman show up to attack Mirror Master, and she just starts getting wrecked. Like, Mirror Master is actually taking her down quickly, and we see Lord Zod, he's attacking Connor Kent. They're like, Lord Zod and Mirror Master are making light work with the Justice Squad. Now, Lord Zod goes up to Connor Kent. He says, You betrayed any shred of you that was Kryptonian the second you came to this plant and kneel to Waller. And now, now you will kneel too. But that's when he stops talking. And he's hit by something. The evil flash of the Justice Squad him with the Kryptonite bullets. Now Lord Zod falls to the ground. He begins to bleed throughout his face. His whole body just bleeding. He's dying. Now, the evil flash above him is surprised. She's shot. She says, what? Uh, no, I thought this was just supposed to neutralize him, not kill him. And Amanda Waller responds, he is neutralized permanently. Now, get Ken away from that aerosolized kryptonite before he's neutralized as well. So, Lord Zod, dead like that. While Mirror Master just starts taking down Hypnotic Woman. He even asks her, You know, I get the sense there's not much wonderful about you. Now Hypnotic Woman smiles as she gets up with mirror glass surrounding her. She says, You'll find him full of surprises. How about you just join the Wayne team? Now quickly we see Mirror Master is taken control of. He's smiling now and he's on the Justice Squad because Hypnotic Woman is controlling him. But that's when Peacemaker calls in. He says, Sorry, Scudder. You know what happens when you switch teams. Make sure you stand real close to everyone, okay? And Mirror Master says, You son of a... That's when you hear another big boom! And Mirror Master explodes. And he sends Connor Kent, Hypnotic Woman, and the Evil Flash back. Now the real Amanda Waller watches this all happen. 
but she hears the door to the room that she's in open. You hear a boom. Peacemaker says, uh, yes, it is over, Waller. Now, Peacemaker looks at the parademon. The parademon, his vials are done. He dies. And Peacemaker closes his eyes saying, rest easy. You served the squad well, my friends. Now, Peacemaker shoots Waller in the stomach and walks toward her saying, a bomb in each cell, Clayface? Brutal even for you, Waller, but it wasn't enough, and the detonation signal to all those bombs led right to you. It's time to come home, Waller. Now, Waller, bleeding in her mouth, says, A home that is broken, a home that refuses to be helped, or an entire earth that is ready, willing, and able to be at peace. I am home, peacemaker, and I am never alone. We see Connor Kent behind Amanda Waller. Connor Kent goes up to Peacemaker. He says, stand down, Peacemaker, while you still can. I can see and hear your vials coming to Earth 3. It's slowly killing you. Waller can help, and then you can help us. Peacemaker takes off his helmet, saying, last time you and I spoke, I <coughs> promised you something. <coughs> Do you remember? Connor says to Peacemaker, I remember what I said in return. I said I hoped when that time came, you wouldn't kill a friend. Now Amanda Waller shouts, Enough! Kill him, Kent! That's when Connor looks up, he says, I am not a criminal, Waller. You treat me like one, so I act as one, but that's not who I am. I stood with Titans, I stood for justice, and I've been silent for too long. And if this is the opportunity you offered so long ago, Waller, then this is what I choose to do with it. Connor then uses he vision to blast to the ground. He says, Peacemaker is right, Waller. It's over. No more neck bombs. No more death. No more Task Force X. Now Amanda Waller smiles. She says, that's my boy. And Connor, surprised, responds, Th this was your plan, wasn't it? Now Amanda Waller looks at Peacemaker and Connor, both shocked, and she says, I need to know. And now I do. Huh. Superman didn't just destroy a detonator. It was a kill switch. Now that it's destroyed, it's finished. Project home base is complete. Earth 3 is sealed away. Safe forever. Now Peacemaker then points at Amanda Waller. He's still bleeding. He grits his teeth saying, You <coughs> miserable narcissistic... That's when Peacemaker falls to the ground dead. His vials give out. Now Amanda Waller begins to fall too. Connor catches her, saying, Why? Now Waller responds, Because this imperfect world needs someone perfect to watch over it. You're not a criminal, Connor, just as you are a Kent or a Luther. This is the opportunity I promised you, because now, now, you are what you always wanted to be, Superman. This is your Earth, your home. Watch over it and keep it safe. Connor lets go of Waller. Waller and Peacemaker dead on the ground. Connor stands up. He's shot. But now that Earth 3 is locked away from the worlds, this world, Earth 3, pretty much belongs to Connor Kent. He can be its protector. It's Superman. And that's how he ends Future State's Suicide Squad. So that was Future State Suicide Squad number two, and I actually really enjoyed this issue. It was a really interesting end to what Robbie Thompson was trying to go for. Because the beginning of the story, we just saw, okay, Amanda Waller, she moved from Earth 1 to Earth 3, assembled this Justice Squad, and she took control of Connor Kent. And Connor Kent is really like the main character of the story. The literal issue opens with Connor Kent remembering getting imprisoned by Amanda Waller. And him being, he wanted peace, right? He wanted peace, but then he was trapped. And Amanda Waller wanted him to be like a criminal. Be more the Luther side. So basically like, okay, Connor Kent is half Superman, half Luther. And Amanda Waller wanted the smarts of Connor Kent. And that would be Lex Luthor's side. Now, Connor did not want to embrace that. And by the end of the story, we see him remember who he is. How he stood with the Titans. How he stood with heroes. How he was a big hero with the Superman family. And he pretty much went against Amanda Waller, but that actually went into her scheme. And the overall ending of this, where we see that Amanda Waller, Peacemaker, they both die. And we see that Connor Kent is now the protector of Earth-3, even though it doesn't really need protecting, because now it's locked away. 
they initiate Operation Home Base, which end up just being like, okay, locking away Earth 3 from all the other worlds in the multiverse, so no one can come in and out, pretty much. So we have Connor Ken now, who's Superman. He's always wanted to be Superman, and Amanda Waller made that happen. She gave him the opportunity, and he took it in a way that he didn't know he was actually taking it. Like, he thought he was going against her, but actually went into her plan, which I thought was really good. And the ending, though it is awesome, I like seeing Connor Kent become Superman, and now he's going to protect the world, even though he's kind of distraught by everything that's happened. I kind of want to see this continue, and it may continue. Like, this story technically is continuing in the new Suicide Squad book, but it's in the past, right? It's more going to be like the lead-up. But I hope we get this future again in the future, maybe a couple years down the line, in this new Suicide Squad run, and see Connor Kent actually beat Superman. Because that's something I'm actually really intrigued about. How would he handle being, like, the big hero of Earth-3? Now... Some other things to discuss, seeing all the different villains go up against each other, like the Parademon, that was really cool. We also got like Mr. Miracle, Lord Zod, guys, how Lord Zod got killed was brutal. Like, that's what I want to see in a Suicide Squad book, that was just so good. And seeing all the Justice Squad members get beat for a little bit, but then get betrayed, and then each member get taken down one by one in both teams. And Peacemaker being, like, the last one left, I like that Peacemaker got, like, some spotlight. I know some people are saying, like, they're only doing that because he's getting a show and the Suicide Squad movie. Yeah, you're right. But um, I'm also really happy that he's finally getting a lot of spotlight. Like, this is really cool. He's a great character that deserves it. But, yeah, guys, overall, I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend it. It's a great conclusion with a really interesting ending. And I like to know you guys' theories on how the story could continue if it does. But yeah, guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next DC Future State video. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.